Damas y caballeros, este es el combate estelar de esta noche. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Set for 10 rounds of boxing in the super welterweight division. 10 rounds of combate in the division of peso super welter. Pies presentado ustedes por Oscar de la Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions in association con Taking Promotions. Patrocinado, sponsored by Cerveza Tecate, Born Bold, Carmelita Chorizo, the original chorizo since 1934. Y Casa México Tequila, it's in the taste. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Commissioner John Carvelli, Executive Officer Andy Foster. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces, Eddie Hernandez, Zachary Young, y Raul Kais Jr. And when the action begins, your third man, el tercero en la superficie, Wayne Hedgepet. Ahora bien, amigos que nos acompañan a través de la señal de Estrella TV y los presentes en el Velasco Theater, Los Ángeles, California, Estados Unidos, L.A., California, USA. Ajusten sus cinturones. Introducing to you first, fighting in the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim. Official weight, 153.4 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina Tecate Azul, vistiendo calzoncillo negro con plata, con un peso oficial de 153.4 libras. Professionally, he stands at 26 victories, including three losses, one draw, and 23 of those victories coming by the way of knockout. Presenta un récord profesional de 26 victorias, Tres derrotas, un empate y 23 de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. Irashae Mase, Subarashi, boxer de Aru, de Tokio, Japón, Yoshihiro, el maestrito Kamegai. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner. Wearing gray trunks with black trim. Official weight, 153.6 pounds. Presentando ustedes su contrincante en la esquina Tecate Roja, vistiendo calzoncillo gris con negro, con un peso de 153.6 libras. Professionally, he stands at 28 victories, with 10 losses, 3 draws, and 18 of those victories coming by the way of knockout. Presenta un record de 28 victorias, 10 derrotas, 3 empates, y 18 de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. Puritito Los Mochis, Sinaloa, México. El renuente. Y el tercero en la superficie para las instrucciones finales, Wayne Hedgepeth. Good evening, you gentlemen receiving your instructions in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times, and above all, protect yourself. Touch them up and come back out. We get ready to go. Referee Wayne Hedgepeth with the introductions. The crowd is fired up. I'm a little, a little extra. Doug, how about that tail of the tape? Hey, they match up uh, almost perfectly. Kamagai, one year younger at age 33, and Soto Karras with a slight height and slight reach advantage. And that ring looks small. It doesn't matter. They're going to stand right on that A of the Tecate. <laughs> <laughs> and two bulls have been let out of their cage. Just salió el toro as Jesus Soto Carras with a big right right away. He's in the silver trunks. That's the design of the Aztec calendar. 28 and 10 from Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. Last time he was in a boxing ring for Soto Carras was in 2014 when he fought Devin Alexander. In 2015, he had two fights in BKB. Very lucrative money, but he said he just wants to get back into the boxing. Yoshihiro Kamegai, El Maestrito Kamegai. Trained Best by start. Sendai Tanaka, who yeah, is no veteran. Yeah, veteran Japanese trainer, sort of the house fighter for the, the Taken Boxing Club. Uh, somebody goes back 15 years working with world class fighters like Marco Antonio Barrera and later Eric Morales. Right hand from 
Kame Guy, the fighter from Tokyo, Japan. Guys, the feel out portion of this fight literally was over in about two seconds. These I, guys I'm have actually gone, a little bit surprised, yeah. given their experience, given the fact that they're veterans. I thought they would warm up yeah. to the slugfest, well, but Soto Karras, he set the tone. He came out with one twos and hard body shots and uppercuts, and I think he's the guy with the power. Kame Guy a little bit faster, maybe um, a little more uh, strong physically speaking. It's scheduled for 10, keyword. If you wonder why Kamagai has a name Maestrito, because of El Maestrito Lopez, a good fighter in the 80s. That's where he got the nickname. Yeah, he idolized that guy. Former WBO welterweight champ from Durango, Mexico. Jesus, uh, 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 Jose Luis. Uh, uh, El Maestrito Lopez. Lopez. Yeah, yeah, the little right. teacher is the nickname. Yeah, you're right. Feeling out now. Nah. <laughs> we just chuck him. <laughs> The thing is, it, it, whenever uh, there's a lull, it's, you know, whenever Karras isn't moving his hands, is gonna keep working, that's what he does. Both guys had long camps, they started this year in training because they knew that this fight, they, was, they were trying to make it, Golden Boy Promotions was trying to put it together. So they were in the gym even before it was made official, and both guys claim they've had excellent camps and had excellent sparring leading into this fight. Soto Karas, fighting family, his dad and four brothers all box. Good right hand by Soto Karas. That's his money punch, that's his power shot. And he is a boxing fan. He is at the LA Fight Club almost every single edition, supporting young fighters, trains other fighters, he Party, runs with them. Partying with fellow fight fans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you don't have a selfie with Soto Karas, you're doing it wrong exactly, if you're a fight fan. Exactly, exactly. And if you had a shirt on, well, that's even rare. Nice left hooks to the body from Kamagai in this round. Good opening round between Soto Caraz and Maestrito Kamagai. LA Fight Club, Belasco Theater on Ring TV Live. Um, you know, you're able to put on your condition to the very most at the gym, and, and you're able to basically have the comforts of home. And uh, we were lucky enough to find a sparring partner that mimicked uh, Soto Karas very closely, so uh, we had a very good camp. Um, you know, Soto Karas is very aggressive, and for me to prepare and spar for something like that, uh, basically uh, avoid getting hit and fighting at my own pace and my own fight, and uh, not being uh, pulled into his fighting style or his mix. You know, you know they're, they're, every fighter is different. Even even Mexican fighters sometimes have different styles and, and so on and so forth. But for me, um, knowing Soto Karas and watching him, um, I prepared myself to the best of my ability for this fight because I know what kind of fighter he is. Right there. Kamagai is applying pressure. He has to be careful because Soto Karas can be dangerous off the ropes. He really has to keep his eye on the right hand of Soto Karas. That is his heavy shot. Kamagai is cut on the right eyebrow. It might have been, yep, it's an accidental headbutt. Referee Wayne Hedgebutt says. It is bleeding though. Bleeding and closing quickly. Yeah, corner of the right eye. Guys, I want to note one thing. Even though these guys are natural welterweights, this fight is basically a junior middleweight scrap. Camel guy, from my understanding, is has balked a little bit at the weight. Physical strength is going to be very interesting to see. Who does this favor, the extra seven pounds? I think it favors both of them. Both guys have, have been in a lot of tough fights. They're, they're in their 30s now. Don't have to I, make I, weight. Basically. Yeah, they don't have to sweat out those extra pounds that they normally have to sweat out to make the welterweight uh, limit. Um, I, and I think both guys are carrying it really well. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to stand by this. I think Kamagai is physically stronger than uh, Soto Karas. I think Soto Karas has more uh, one-punch power. So Kamagai has to sort of combat that with volume. And I think he's doing it in the second round. Volume has never been a problem for Kamagai. No, it isn't at all. Kamagai absorbs a right hand, follows with the right of his own. The oohs and ahs, you're hearing it. 
it's like fans are cheering for any punch being thrown right now. There's a lot. To, there's a lot to choose from. I see blood on on the scalp of Solo Cross. I don't know if that's from the accidental headbutt. I don't know if it's just blood that rubbed off from Kamagai's eye. But I see a, a spot. Oh man, that that cut is bleeding a lot now. Yeah, it's on right below the right eyebrow and from an accidental headbutt in this round. And of course, Kamagai responds to that blood by doing what? Fighting harder. And with some nice combinations that he used to, to get Soto Karras up against the ropes momentarily. Both fighters have been in some wars over the years in their illustrious career. These are the fighters that you respect because they come every single day. Guys, looking into the corner of Kama Guy, the cut man is veteran Rudy Hernandez. He's already getting his equipment ready, ready to jump into the corner. He's got his work cut out seconds. for him. Yeah, he's got his work cut out for him, and I, I saw um, Kama Guy blinking as that blood trickled into the right eye. Um, it might behoove Soto Karras to start uncorking some left hooks because Kama Guy may not see them. Kama Guy with a good right. Another left, the right from Soto Karras. Soto Karras in the silver trunks. Los Mochi Sinaloa. He's I mean, come on now. This is the definition of a slugfest. If you want to know what a slugfest is, folks, this is it. We're witnessing it. As he pushes a referee weight headband. <laughs> Final seconds of the second round. Once again, scheduled for 10. Third round. Soto Cross letting his hands go in volume now, showing us some speed, showing us that he is truly in good condition. So is Kamagai. Nice block and counter on the inside from Kamagai. This is that counter punching and that craft that Robert Diaz spoke of when he first saw Kamagai years ago in Japan. Soto Karas is going against Keith Thurman, Chino Maidana, Gabriel Rosado. Those are the only fights he was stopped in. Good right hand from Soto Karas. Kamagai absorbs it, comes with it. Good body attack from Kamagai, and I think it's smart because uh, Soto Karas has always been known to take a, a, a good shot to the jaw. In fact, that's his nickname, uh, Renuente. Does that mean hard head? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and it also, it, it also speaks to his stubbornness sometimes in training camps when they say, hey, come on, conditioning time. He says, hey, I don't feel like it. Not for this camp, they tell me. This no. camp, they said he did everything. They did everything right for this camp. He's going to need that conditioning. Training at the Ponce de Leon gym in, in L.A. Kama guy in the black trunks. It's only two and a half rounds that they've been at it. Man. Look at the wear on their faces already. This pace is pretty fast for both of these two, isn't it? It's very fast. Very fast for guys who are in their 30s. And the, the punch output, the, vol the sheer volume that both men are throwing is um, really special. You don't see guys really let it all hang out like this. Found the guy with the left. And they're all hard punches, too. There's no, no soft stuff, no, no pawing around. No, the, the uppercut for Kama guy is nice. This, and th these rounds are not going to be easy to score, either. They're fun to watch, hard to score. Come on, guy. Soto Karas. I kind of don't want to score it. I want to just enjoy it. Don't. You know? Just watch this. <laughs> I kind of don't want to talk either. I, just <laughs> I know. I'm going to go get a beer and just I enjoy know. this. We should have Tecates, really. Or Casa Mexico oh, tequila. Nice Good right hand by Kamagai. And he timed it. Like I said, when Soto Cross has a lull, he's got to be very, when his hands aren't moving, he needs to be in a defensive position. He needs to be moving his head because, oh, boom, another like one that, from like Kamagai. Right hand from Kamagai. That's good speed, but it's also timing from the veteran Japanese fighter. Nice right from uh, Soto Cross. Good round for Kamagai with 30 seconds to go in the third round. is scheduled for 10. Bigger shots landed by the Japanese fighter in this round. Well, what we've seen in this round, though, is when Kamagai wants to be elusive, he's pretty shifty with his shoulders, creating an illusion and then taking it away from Soto Karas. I think he has won this third round. I do, too. Good right hand from Soto Karas. Another left hand landed at the bell. He could have stole the round with those, those right hands. Los Angeles, LA Fight Club, Soto Karas in the white trunks, Aztec calendar on him. There's your hero, El Maestrito, Kamegai. Guys, I just spoke to Rudy Hernandez real quick, the cut man for Kamegai. He seems to think that the cut is not going to be a problem. I, it's not bleeding. Yeah. Rudy's one of the best in yeah. the business. It was a cut separate by an accidental headbutt in the second round. Referee Wayne Hedgeworth was on it right away. 
And the fourth round is brought to you by Yip TV. Watch live TV from around the globe, including live Golden Boy fights. Sign up today at yiptv.com. Body shot from Common Guy. And this one, Steve, I, I believe I've read it in your story leading up to this preview, that this is a fight where whoever wins can get them back in there and make some more paydays. Right. Listen, does this fight necessarily lead to a championship fight? Probably not. But what it does, it really is a battle for relevance, that if you want to stay viable and make a certain amount of money, winning tonight would certainly be a very good idea. Both guys um, have landed excellent choice shots to the body. Kamagai seems a little bit more committed yeah. to it than Soto Karas. And I, I would say the Japanese fighter has slight momentum right now yeah. at this stage of the fight. You know, one thing that I've noticed, at least in my opinion, I think his punches are a little bit sharper, a little bit straighter, and they seem to have a little bit more thump to him. Kamigai fought Alfonso Gomez, a fighter that was on the contender, had fought Canelo. They went 10 rounds, and that was a fight that Gomez controlled. And speaking with Kamigai's corner, and they're, they're, they said something wasn't right with him mentally. He didn't come into that fight right mentally. They didn't want to elaborate, but they said he was a different fighter when he knocked out Nelson Gulpe in October. Kamigai took some time off after that Gomez loss. That was a fight that a lot of people expected. This. We yeah. didn't get it. Kamagai was expecting that, you know, because Gomez can be a, a, a warrior in there, and he wasn't. Kamagai said, hey, hats off to him. He studied my fight with Robert Guerrero, saw the kind of pressure that I put on Guerrero, and he made a decision, I'm not going to deal with that, and he used his legs as much as he used his fists in that fight. So this looks like a fresh Kamagai here in 2016. And what about Soto Caras, who didn't box at all in 2015? He says he needed the break. Really? He said, yeah, he, I mean, he had a, a, a grueling 2013, had some tough fights in 2014 as he eats an uppercut from Kamagai. Yeah, I don't blame him. Go make that money yeah. in BKB. He's been right. And so, he, you know, he used BKB as, um, you know, income, uh, you know, help, help pay the rent, pay bills. Buy groceries. Um, what a nice car. But also, it was kind of a departure from, oh. from uh, boxing. It was still a break in his eye. Overhand right uppercut from Soto Caras. A good round for the fighter from Sinaloa. You know, when Soto Caras is in close, he seems to have much more success than he's out there on the perimeter getting sharpshooted by Kamagai. Yeah, Kamagai, I think that's because Kamagai's faster. Kamigai, Soto Caras. We're getting ready for another round. It's the fifth one. It's scheduled for 10, and the fifth round is brought to you by ITT Tech. And they come out the way they started them, the first second of this fight, right at each other. I love that boxing Twitter is alive yeah. for this fight. I really do. I'm, you know, I'm just looking at them all. Yeah, they're, as we said, social media and the hardcore fans, they are tuning in. Doug, when Soto Cross is chest to chest with Kamagai, this is where he seems to really minimize some of the physical advantages of Kamagai. This is where yeah. he's getting his best work done. It's right in close. He's got very good inside craft. So does Kamagai, so it's, it's, it's good heated uh, infighting from both guys. Um, I think Karras gets the better of Kamagai inside because I think his hands are a yeah. bit heavier. Kamagai worked a lot with Golden Boy promotions, taking promotions, worked very close together. We've seen him on a lot of Golden Boy cards, and he's a fighter. This is exactly him. He comes to scrap with you as the pace slows down a bit, which is expected. They're running those 400s like Doug does on Sundays at UCLA. <laughs> Body shot. Kamagai cutting the right eye. Really great job done by Rudy Hernandez. Haven't seen any blood come out since the second round. Yeah, it's a sizable gash. It's the, the cut has grown, but it's not bleeding. And Glenn Tapia, who's fighting on the Canelo Con card. Glenn, you're watching this. What are you seeing? Oh, my God, man. I'm over here seeing <laughs> pressing. Jesus Christ. This is an amazing <laughs> fight, man. These guys going at it. Um, I think um, this is about investing in the, in, the, in the body, both guys, and they're both doing it. They're both doing it really well. Kamaga is a little sharper, though. He's a little sharper with his punches. I, would, I just want to see how how he's going to do later in the round, I mean, later in the, in, in, in the, in the fight when um, this guy Soto was, stays here, you know, and he's going to be here punching. Hey, Glenn, you when know? you're in a scrap like this or barn burner going back and forth and you just mixing up punch for punch, what do you got to do to, like, separate yourself in the eyes of the judges? Like, like I said, um, well, the last 30 seconds, those are those count. In these kind of fights, the last 30 seconds count a lot, you know. Last 10 seconds, just going at it and winning them last 10 seconds because those are the rounds that the, 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 the judges are going to end up seeing at the end of it. You know, they're going to remember that. 
Glenn Tapia fights on the Canelo Con card. He's roaming around Velasco Theater. Make sure you follow his Instagram. Over 80,000 followers. Can we get a shout out there? Come on now. There we go. 30 seconds to go. Yeah, I, I love following Glenn on, uh, as a family man, I like following yes, Glenn on Instagram. But right now we're watching nice Soto Taras yeah. and Kamigai. I could be Uppercut wrong. from Kamigai. Yeah, he's still landing um, and moving around, uh, about the, the ring well, but I'm seeing fatigue on the face of Kamigai. Cool. More so than Soto Taras. Oh, oh, exchanging rights. Wow. Soto Taras senses something. I think he what can a, see the fatigue on the face of Kamagai, and I think he's getting in there. He's starting to really affect him now. What a Zach Ochoa watching the fights in New Jersey. And yes, it is a phone booth fight. I'm glad you're 20 years old and you know what a phone booth is, Zach. <laughs> Loaded gloves, New York City. You're right, not a phone booth. It's a shoebox. <laughs> Thanks again, for everybody sending us the tweets on Ring TV Live. Yeah, Twitter definitely alive tonight. Six round. The sixth round is brought to you by the new Pixie app. Pixie, live curiously. Yoshihiro Kamigai, 26, 3 and 1 from Tokyo, Japan. Born in Sapporo, Japan. Yes, that's where they do make the beer. Good beer. Good beer, yes. He's going to earn it after this one. He's in the black trunks. Kamigai's got to watch that left uppercut from Soto Karas. That used to be one of his money punches, you know, 2008, 2009. Soto Karas sparred hundreds and thousands of rounds against Antonio Margarito well, at his peak. He's the only peak. guy who could actually go rounds yeah, with Margarito and, in the gym. And, you know, you could see some of the remnants of what he picked up there, shortening up the punches, good overhand right over the top. This is where he wants to be. Well, he learned how to be an inside yeah. fighter. As a prospect out of Los Mochis, he's a guy who actually used his um, his height and his reach. He worked everything off the jab. He's more of a boxer. He, was, he became an inside fighter and a pressure fighter being part of Team Margarito. This was supposed ago. to happen three years ago, this fight? Right? I think it would have been the same fight, to be yeah, quite honest. But these guys would have been a little bit more in their prime, a little yes. bit sharper. Yeah. My it, it, would have been at, it would have been at welterweight. I think it would have been a little bit more speed on the punches. So we'd probably be on the trilogy right now. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because I don't, I, I, I'm looking at the screen, it says 6 of 10. Can we get some 15 in here? Uh, I, I wouldn't want to ask that of those guys. <laughs> I, I think we're fine with 10 at age 34 and 33. I wouldn't ask any more of them. Yeah, they're basically combining 15 rounds, yeah. crunching it down on 10 saying, rounds. At the way activity. that they're going and the way that the judges are going to have it, and it's very hard to score, you're going to have some yeah. varying opinions if it keeps up the way it is Let right me now. ask you guys, who's winning this round so I far? I would say Kama guy. I, I see, and the first minute, I thought it was Soto yeah. Paras. We have 45 seconds left. Right now, the fans are winning this one for sure. That's what Soto Karras kept repeating coming into this fight, and he does not lie. Sixth round is scheduled for 10. Coming, guys, Soto Karras sold out Velasco oh. Theater. Good left from Soto Karras. He's Soto Karras. got to watch that left uppercut. Yeah, he's got a, he's finding something, as they call in hockey, the five hole, right up the middle, up and under. The last few seconds of each round have been really good. See what they do here in the sixth round. Ooh. They took a breath. They let him breathe. Get ready for that shot out. And you're right, Miss Fight Lady, it is living up to the hype and then some. Carmelo, I know you're watching out there on your iPad in San Diego. Appreciate the support. Six-year-old watching a real fight. And I appreciate the, the Spanish tweets, some words that even though we're in English, we, we shouldn't be saying them anyways. <laughs> Hugh Cortez, but yes, I agree with you. All I can say is orale. <laughs> yep. We can say chingonski. <laughs> <laughs> in the seventh round, Kamaga in the black. Soto Caras. Steve, I think you wrote the story about how I think you described him as a fun-loving sparring partner yeah. of Margarito. I, quite frankly, early on in his career, as he hit the skids, he really wasn't taking this career all that seriously. And I, I think he's actually crafted a very good living the last four or five years just by doing this, being an honest-to-goodness prize fighter. And when I mean, you may not take him seriously, like, just no training yeah. or discipline. Or right.
Jab from Kamigai. Right hand from Soto Caras. See more of Kamigai taking deep breaths here in the seventh round. Yeah, he's, um, I think he's let his hands go more than Soto Caras, and he's using his legs more, so he's probably expending more energy of the two. But I, I, I like the subtle craft you see from these guys. And these guys are in here and there. Yeah. It's rock 'em sock 'em robots uh, to an extent, but it's not yeah. it's not sloppy. It's not um, uneducated no. boxing craft. It's, they they have their balance. They have very good punch selection. There's there's head movement. There's blocking going on. There's actually pretty good footwork from both guys. Soto Garas came into this fight with over 302 pro Ooh. rounds and a big right landed by the fighter from Los Mochis. Compiled over a 15-year professional career. And he's looking good in the seventh round. He's still got it. You match him up right. One, one, two from Soto Caras. Kamigai comes right back at him. Body shot from Kamigai. Soto Caras goes upstairs again. What a fight. What a fight. Whenever Soto Cross lands a big thudding punch from the outside, Kamagai comes right at him. He responds. We're, we're sitting ringside, and you're starting to hear those body punches landing with more of a thud later on in the rounds, just like that right from Soto Caras. Jab from Soto Caras. Body shot from Kamagai. Oh, good right from the Japanese fighter. It would have been a tough round to score. Could I that know. have stolen it for him? I think there are some rounds where both guys will have uh, stolen it by the end of this contest. Yoshihiro El Maestrito Kamigai, born in Sapporo, Japan, side of the 72 Winter Olympics. Not an old guy tweet, Linus. It is a historical tweet. <laughs> Jesus Renuente Soto Caras from Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. And if you know anything about Sinaloa boxing, you just know that's where they, exactly. some scrappers come out of there. Culiacan. Yeah, Culiacan and Los Mochis. And we got two good ones right now. Two warriors, as they say in Spanish, Guerreros. And exactly. you're watching that right now. These guys are just laying it all on the line. This is boxing, but these guys are fighters. But these guys are also, when they're in a fight like this, I know it's what they do, but this is what they want. And this is how they, this is their kind of fun. <laughs> it's, it's, well, it's it's their mentalities. This is who they are. Like they hate it if somebody's not hitting them. Well, that's when they're frustrated. You know, that's you, you saw that look on Kamagai's face throughout the Alfonso Gomez fight. He's like, why aren't you fighting me back? You know. Well, well, now this he's is getting what they it. Wanted. This is what they got. Yeah, he's getting the Mexican oh. warrior from from Soto Carras. And if you've been paying attention to professional boxing in the last four or five years, you know that when Japanese fighters travel from that island to fight here in the U.S., they don't come to lay down. I they may not win, but they're going to give you a fight. They're I gonna still try remember to win. Figueroa against Arakawa. Uh, I, I thought that was a great display of Japanese warrior culture. Yes. That, that wasn't so much boxing, but a kamikaze effort in San Antonio. Body shot from Kamigai. And of Left course, last Kamigai. year's fight of the year was between a Japanese fighter, Takashi Miura, and a Mexican fighter, Francisco Vargas. El Bandido, what a fight at the Mandalay Bay on Coro Canelo. Good round for Soto Calas, landing some of the bigger shots. Nice jab from Kamigai in the last uh, 15 seconds. You see the scorecard for Steve has Kamigai up one. I still have it even. It's a very unofficial cards, but my guys are usually on it. Eighth round, scheduled for 10. Bethel Duran, Doug Fisher, Steve Kim. Two of the best boxing scribes out there. They've seen some great battles over the years. And good right landed by Kamigai. And when these guys tell you that get here early, you're going to see a good one. It's not hyperbole, and it's living up to the billing from both of you. Kamigai, Soto Caras, sold out Pelasco Theater, standing room only, closed circuit tickets sold, second market making money, and right now the fight fans are winning in the LA Fight Club at the Pelasco Theater in downtown LA. You want some hype? We don't sell you hype. We this fight needed no hype. 
you didn't have to sell this fight to anyone who, who's been following boxing for the past five years. This is a fight where the casual fan was asking me, hey, uh, so you've been tweeting about this. You've been saying, talking about, can I get some tickets? No, sold out. And the ninth <laughs> round is brought to you by the Ring Magazine. The Ring Magazine, the Bible of Boxing since 19, 1922. Subscribe today. Got my new one this week. Thank and you're you going to see in, the, in one month from now, uh, the next issue, you're going to see some beautiful pictures. Ooh, hip shot. Kamagai's been um, throwing sort of borderline left hooks. Oh, oh and he walks into a, a one-two combination from Togo Karras. Kamagai was walking over with the gloves together like to apologize. Right. <laughs> At least he kept half the glove up. Uh, Naoki Fukuda, who is ringside, and they were um, close to him when they were in Soto Carrasco's corner. He's one of the best boxing photographers in the business. I guarantee you he's going to capture some beautiful action from this slugfest. Been a slugfest. Great way to describe it, Doug Fisher. The only the way to describe it. And for being such a scrap, guys' faces are clean, not much clenching. Right now, this might be the first time that you actually do hold it, and that's just probably sign of wear and tear from each other. Which shows you they're human. Are they? They weren't through eight. <laughs> Maybe a little something extra. They're humans who happen to be natural fighters. So this is that fight for when you want to introduce somebody to a fight, never been to one here. Watch this. Yeah, courage on display. These guys, this is why boxers are special. And for those of you who had tickets and couldn't make it, well, the replay will be available for you tomorrow. <laughs> and I hope you're watching the stream. I hope you're watching on Australia TV. And thanks to everybody watching us in Canada, in France, and in Turkey, also in Japan. Kamakai keeping his speed in these late rounds. I'm, I'm impressed. He may have taken over this round with uh, some of these combinations. You can tell Kamagai is still in there thinking. Not totally throwing caution to the wind. He's trying not to be reckless, trying to block what he can, counter, get under shots when he can. And he's doing a fairly decent job of it and coming back with nice combinations like that left of the body, right to the head. Drops one, get, eats one. Follows back with the right of his own. Boy, this is just a grinding fight, guys. They are just chipping away at each other. Another tough round to score. Who will steal it here? Ten seconds to go in the ninth round. Kamagai, Soto Karas. Fans on their feet. Ooh, ooh. Had him doing breathing exercises. Kong. Tenth and final round, and this one is brought to you by Yip TV. Kamagai in black, Soto Karas in the white and silver. It's been a great scrap between two warriors. Fans definitely enjoying it in our main event, the LA Fight Club. I admire and really I'm, I'm humbled by each man's commitment to winning this fight. There's been no coasting at all in this 10-rounder. Coming out the way they started the fight, right at each other. Oh. And we didn't have to wonder if they were going to let it all hang out <laughs> in round 10. We didn't have to wonder if they were willing to empty their yeah. tank. Glenn Tapia, what are you seeing right now? I think it's the last round, the last round, and whoever wins this round is going to win, you know. Common guy in the black. Glenn, uh, it, when okay. you've been in these scraps, when you come in, in there, what's your attitude when you know it's this tight? Like, what do you try this, to do? The, this type of fight? Yeah. Ooh, I was, just go in there. You can't, you can't really, it's not really stylistically, st 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 um, stylistically, you know, it's just, you got to go in there and fight and just, you got to be tough, you know. Hit a lot of body shots in there, but right now, the, these guys ain't going to stop. It don't matter what you hit them with. They ain't you know? stopping till Brooklyn, man. Yes, yes, not at all. <laughs> it is amazing, man, with the, how, how, they, how they're giving us a show like this. It's amazing, man. I'm surprised expect nothing that less. Kamagai is, yeah. is applying as much pressure as he is, um, and I think it's uh, effective pressure. He's, he's winning this round so far. Kamagai in the black trunks. Doug, I'm not the sure pressure. about that. I actually think Kamagai's done a nice job of pressuring, but he's getting, he's running into some counter punches here from Soto Karras. He's done a nice job of taking a half step back 
and running him into some stuff. Yeah, he's doing a good job now, absolutely. And fighting very effectively as he's yeah. being backed into a neutral corner. Less than a minute to go in the fight in the upstairs balcony already clapping for these two warriors as they're going on. They put on a show all night long. Volume punching from both. Guys, this Losing is just up. soul searching now. That's all it is. And they both take a breath with 34 seconds to go. Salto's crowd wheeling them on. 20 seconds to go in what's been a good fight. By one of the best we've had here at the Belasco Theater. Without a doubt. Right landed by Kamigai. Another right from Kamigai. Who will be able to steal it with 10 seconds to go in the fight? I'm going to be quiet. You guys just watch this. They go 10. They both smile. And they hug each other right where the fight started, in the middle of the ring. A standing ovation for yeah. Yoshihiro Kamigai. I'm going to stand up and applaud these guys myself. Oscar De La Hoya, Chairman, CEO, Hall of Famer. And guys, I had it a draw, 95-95. I had it for Kamagai by one point, 96-95. And of course, there were rounds that easily yeah. could have gone to Soto Carras that I scored for Kamagai. Judge, El Juez, Raul Caiz Jr. scored the bout 97 to 93, 97 a 93 in favor, in favor of Kamegai. Zachary Young has it 96 to 94, 96 a 94 oh. in favor, in favor of Soto Caraz. And Eddie Hernandez scores the bout, lo califica. 95 a 95, 95 to 95. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a draw. Tenemos un empate wow. y posible revancha. And there you see, Sota Carra started clapping because he obviously speaks Spanish, heard the word empate, which is draw. He starts clapping. Kamagai gives that little side eye, like, what, 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 what? And he's like, oh, draw. Okay, we cool, we cool. Perfect <laughs> score. Perfect. One, one judge had it for Kamagai, one judge had for Soto Carras, the other judge had it even like you saw it, Steve. Like a lot of uh, fight fans watching our stream and watching on TV had it. I think it's, it was perfect.